Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my press on nails so that they look natural as if I just walked out of the salon and that there's no air bubbles. Here I am going in and clipping my nails short because the style that they had left, the only style that they had left in the store was the really short version. So I'm just going to make sure that my nails aren't too long so that they're not peeking over the press on nail that I bought and I'm using the press on nails by kiss and I'm going through and filing all of my nails so that they have a rough texture on them so that the glue will have something to adhere to and also making sure that um, it's nice and dry so it's not any oils or anything on there preventing the press ons from lasting at least two weeks. So here I am sizing the nails to my actual fingernail. So what I like to do is just find the size for whatever nail I'm fitting. So for instance, this size nail for my pinky is a number 12. All of the nails are numbered. So I'm just gonna go through the pack and look for the other number 12, size it to my other pinky, and then put it over to the side and do the same thing for all of my fingers. So if my pointer finger is a number seven, I'm just gonna go in and find the next number seven to match the pointer on the other hand. That way it saves me time and I'm not sitting through and picking through and finding every individual nail that might have a different number. It's just, it saves time this way. And if I find a nail that's really just the perfect size, but it's a little bit uncomfortable around the cuticle area, I just go in with my nail file and customize it to comfortably fit around my cuticle area. I also like to write the size of the nails down for each finger so that for next time when I go to get the same pack, I just know what numbers I need to pull out of the pack. And this is how I lay it out so that I don't get confused and put the wrong nail on the wrong finger. And here I'm taking the wooden cuticle pusher that comes in the pack and just pushing my cuticles out of the way and off of my nail bed. So when I go to apply my nail, I won't be putting it on the extra skin that's on my nails, which will help cause lifting if you don't move the cuticle out of the way. And right here is my trick to avoiding air bubbles. Instead of just applying one dollop of nail glue right in the center, I like to take the nail glue and apply it across the entire surface of the nail. And then I'm going to take my nail, tuck it back towards the cuticle, not too harsh because you don't want to make your cuticles uncomfortable. And then lay the nail down gently and then press firm. I'm gonna hold it for about 10 seconds, not letting up, not letting any air get underneath that. In fact, I'm trying to push out as much of the air from underneath the nail as possible. This is how you want each nail to look.
Here I'm just going to go in and file the tops of the nails because after you take the little tabs off, they leave these little things that stick out right on the top. I wouldn't even know what to call them, but you, they're not cute. You just want to get rid of them. <laughs> So after I have washed my hands, I just go in with some oil and massage it into my cuticles and this part feels so good and it just helps to rehydrate after all that filing and everything and it just makes your fingertips soft. Who doesn't want soft hands? If you do have cuticle oil, I would prefer that you use that, but all I had was this vitamin E oil, so that was enough to do the trick for me right here. And that is all for this tutorial. Super quick, super easy, no air bubbles. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and subscribe.